Today I've got a program in Python 3 that I wrote and what it does is it creates an anagram of a word or a phrase and an anagram is where for example if you start if we look over here if you start with ABC it does ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB and CBA and there should be six of these with three letters you should have six permutations and yeah that's what it does it just creates all of the different permutations of a word or phrase okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to import the math library because we need the factorial function then we need to create a variable for the to store the word or phrase that the user gives us and we set it to nothing uh, this is a recursive function and it took me a long time to do this recursion is kind of a foreign concept to me but uh, create this recursive routine that will walk through the letters and do what we did over here. The, the first thing, okay, so we take the word from the user and if the word length is zero, in other words, they didn't enter anything, then that's a trivial case and we just return. Or if they gave us, say, the letter A, uh, the, the uh, uh, anagram of A is A and so that's it, we just return that and we're done. Uh, otherwise, if they gave us two letters or more, then we have to do an anagram of that. So we uh, create a temporary workspace right here. That's this uh, word temp. And then we iterate uh, the input word. So we're going to calculate the permutations and we're going to walk through the, the uh, word uh, as many times as we need. So we get the length of the word and we're going to go from I to the length of the word. Uh, here, we're going to grab the current character, which is this ith. Uh, part of the word. It should start at zero and go up to the length of the word. Uh, then here we're going to uh, take away the place where we are, the whatever character we're on, and we're going to remove that from the word and then we're going to keep the remaining pieces of it. So here uh, for P and permutations, the remaining permutations, uh, we're just going to be doing this recursive stuff we're going to do the permutations on the remaining spot where C is the first character. So C is going to keep changing as the first character. Uh, so we go for P and permutations remaining uh, the word uh, dot append of C plus P. So we're going to put the character back. So first we take it out, we move things, and we put it back. And then we're going to uh, return this uh, temporary word, if you will. So it'll be one of these. And that is the recursion of the recursion routine to to uh, walk through all these. Okay, so what calls this function is the main routine, and this is where we get this variable that we looked at up here, anagram in. We ask for the user to input a word or a phrase, and then we print the word, uh, the word length, and that's just simply the length of the word that they gave us and then we're going to calculate the number of permutations based on a factorial of that length of word and this is where we use that uh, math function we called in and then last this is for p and permutations of list uh, anagram n so uh, how long this thing is uh, we're going to go through and we're going to print the the list and this join p thing just prints without including the brackets, the commas, all that stuff. Okay, so let's run it. Uh, or a phrase to anagram. I don't know, let's do something different. I did ABC, let's say X, Y, Z. And there we have it. It's uh, link three, permutation six. So it did all the possible permutations. Okay, let's run it with something that's a little more reasonable. I just ran it with TS Brownie and it's going to run all day, so let's run it with something a little bit better than that. Let's just say something like uh, horse. So if we go back up here, you can see the word length is 5, permutations is 120, and up here are the H's, and it begins OH. And then R is the beginning letter, S is the beginning letter, E is the beginning letter, and so on until it's covered all of them. Okay, well that was it, uh, an anagram program in Python 3. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your Python programming.